the citizens of the United Terran Protectorates can proudly boast that no human alive today has ever known a moment without the guiding presence of the collaborators. When they arrived on Earth, their enormous starships dwarfing the largest cities of mankind, they did so not as conquerors, but as saviors. Disease, war, and ecological collapse amidst the thousand other disasters had brought humanity to the brink of ruin, but through the efforts of the collaborators came miracles. Almost overnight, human civilizations were transformed. Advanced technologies made gardens out of deserts, riches out of poverty, and joy out of anguish. All of Earth was put forth on a great new path, but as the collaborators made preparations to leave, their work finished. Mankind requested they stay. In a profound ceremony, the collaborators graciously accepted stewardship over the Earth, declaring it the newest shining jewel in a great crown of star-faring planets. All of humanity celebrated as old nations were dissolved and Terran protectorates established in their place. For some time now, these protectorates have been eager to earn their place amongst the stars, but the collaborators in their wisdom have insisted that such efforts wait until the time is right. Now the collaborators have judged that the time has finally arrived. With their blessing and patronage, the first ships of mankind will soon depart for newfound worlds. The United Terran Protectorates have become a shining example of what is possible through cooperation and mutual respect. And this example will undoubtedly inspire other species to join the ever-expanding galactic community. It is only in private that the leaders of the Terran Protectorates express their doubts. They do so in secluded retreats, far outside, it is hoped, the capacity of the collaborators to overhear. As humanity has been entrusted with advanced technologies, doubt has grown as to the true intentions of their benefactors. In hidden files, far removed from any network, undisclosed studies and intercepted communications are beginning to paint a very different picture. If the most dire theories are true, then the human race has been lied to for centuries and survives now only as a captive, inside a prison that most are too blind to see. But perhaps for the first time, the means to be truly free are within reach. The United Terran Protectorates is the fourth of five possible nations that could become the focus of Stellaris Invicta Season 2. If you'd like to vote for the Protectorates and free mankind from its blind servitude, a pledge of just $2 a month will get you access to the polls when they open this Friday. And to learn a little bit more about how this nation could work in-game, be sure to check out our Twitter and Facebook pages where we've just posted some additional information.